You're watching Let the Quran Speak. We continue looking at the life of the Prophet Muhammad, this time with a focus on his practical accomplishments. The Prophet Muhammad was a simple merchant who could not read or write, but in 23 years he changed world history. His impact continues to be felt amongst the millions of Muslims worldwide who strive to follow his example. So, Brother Shabir, tell me a little bit about the polity that the Prophet Muhammad established. I think there's a very important aspect of his life as well, because we all know him to be a religious figure, mm -hmm. the leader of, of a Muslim, um, uh, uh, some would say the founder of the Muslim faith. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and Muslims would see him as the conduit through which God revealed his uh, final message to the world. Uh, but uh, from, from a practical point of view, uh, he has been regarded as one of the greatest uh, leaders in, in history. Michael Hart uh, is the author of the book, The 100, a ranking of the most influential persons in history. Mm -hmm. And uh, in that book, uh, Michael Hart has uh, uh, given the, the lives of uh, 100 uh, persons who he uh, determines to be the most influential in history. And he has placed uh, as number one uh, the Prophet Muhammad. Mm -hmm. That's and remarkable. Why did he do that? Yes. And he explained this um, uh, to, to, to a great uh, extent because he, he said that this might come across as being puzzling mm -hmm. uh, to many, many readers. And uh, he said that the reason he's placed Muhammad as number one is that he, uh, among all of the 100 he has listed here, has been supremely successful in uh, both uh, the religious and, and, and uh, secular spheres at mm -hmm. once. Uh, in, t in terms of religion, we've already spoken about that uh, on this show, but uh, in, in terms of the uh, secular aspects, what people may consider secular, but for Muslims, uh, the, the division is not so clear. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, all of, uh, whatever we do in life is, it has to be incorporated uh, under the auspices of uh, divine direction and, and guidance. Uh, so in, in terms of um, establishing a polity, we, we spoke about Muhammad being driven out from his hometown, he and his followers. They, he, he went to Medina, a city about 400 kilometers to the north of uh, his uh, town of birth. And uh, it, there people accepted him as a leader. Now there were warring um, uh, tribes in the area. He brought them together. There were people of different religions. He brought them together under a single polity. He established what is referred to as the Constitution of Medina, granting equal rights to all of its citizens, even non-Muslim citizens in the area. There were Jewish persons in the area who, who could now have free access to the high offices of the, of the Muslim government, uh, small as it was, and uh, 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 blossoming as, as, it, as it is now uh, in, uh, as a new enterprise. How uh, was he able to do this if he was just a simple man coming from simple beginnings? Uh, th this is, in fact, one of the, uh, his remarkable accomplishments. For, from a religious point of view, one would say that this is one of the miracles of God's doing. Mm. God's hand was with the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And in fact, uh, many of the Arabs at the time who rejected his message previously were waiting and watching to see if Muhammad could actually be successful uh, at this organizational level. They thought that if he takes over power, well, everybody w likes to back a winner, right? But at the same time, uh, they, they, people knew how difficult it was. Uh, Arabia was uh, a backwater. Uh, it, it, we had the powerful uh, Sasanian army, uh, the pre-Persian um, 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 kingdom, or uh, to, to the northeast, and then uh, to the northwest there was the powerful Byzantine army based uh, in Istanbul, uh, Constantinople at the time. Uh, so, but but Arabia, <laughs> nothing, mm. uh, and and. It, it was inconceivable to many people that uh, the uh, faith of Islam could actually inspire a movement that would so rapidly expand and take control of uh, such a vast uh, area of land. So Wh did he manage to unify the Arabs? Yes, within the Prophet's own lifetime, within the 23 years starting from his call, uh, and, and we should say more so within the last 10 years of his, of his life after he had made that migration, uh, he not only unified the people of uh, Medina, but but he, he uh, guided them and inspired them to defend their city against the attacks from all uh, sides, uh, including from the pagan uh, Arabs coming from, from the south, from, from Mecca, the Prophet's hometown. And uh, uh, following that, there were uh, expansionary uh, missionary uh, moves where the Prophet sent his preachers 
uh, to various other towns and cities. People uh, embraced the message and formed alliances with the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and they saw that he was growing in power, and they, they understood that the hand of God is working with Muhammad, protecting him and the new faith, and, and this expanded so that within his lifetime, the whole of the Arabian Peninsula had actually become uh, Muslim. Mm -hmm. Now, what was this, uh, the Muslim rule like? Uh, was there an establishment of justice? Yes, in fact, this, uh, in a nutshell, justice is what Islam is, is about. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, laws of Islam are all for the purpose of ensuring uh, that, that justice is not only done, but is also seen to, to be done. Mm -hmm. So the people uh, had their own laws before the Prophet Muhammad came. How did he uh, work with those laws or modify them to adjust to the, to the new Islamic polity? He modified them in, in many ways. If, if he saw that there was something that was good, he retained it. If something was uh, in need of improvement, uh, he, he improved and, and changed it. What are some of the he, major changes that he made? Well, he, for example, uplifted the status of women. Uh, we find that uh, in the Quran it is mentioned that people used to bury their daughters alive prior to Islam because uh, for many people having a daughter born in the family was uh, a, a reason for shame. This, this seems inconceivable to us today, but, but it happened. And uh, the it Quran declared some parts of the world. A, a selective abortion is probably what you're referring to. Uh, but uh, there it was like uh, the, the real murder of, a, of an actual uh, infant. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the Quran condemned this, this practice entirely. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, is noted to have said that if uh, one has a daughter and uh, does not uh, give preference to her sons over her, but brings her up and, and then rears her, educates her and gets her married, then uh, he will be with me like, like this in paradise, mm -hmm. as if you know the two are, are one, uh, together with the Prophet, peace be upon him. Uh, so it, 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 in this way, he uplifted uh, the status of women, uh, the status of uh, uh, people in general. Uh, people uh, sometimes look down on, on persons of, of color. Uh, and uh, he said that uh, it doesn't matter whether you're um, red or, or, or black, whatever you are. Uh, what matters is, is the piety in the heart. It's between mm -hmm. you and God. And God, uh, according to one uh, saying of the Prophet, peace be upon him, God does not look at uh, your bodies and your appearances, but he looks at uh, your, uh, your heart. And, and your deeds. Mm -hmm. So have it a good like heart. It seems like you flatten the, the hierarchical society that existed. Exactly. In terms of slavery, for example, slaves had access to God as well. Exactly. Um, people owned slaves at the time, and this was a reality that is known in, in, in the Bible as well. And uh, while uh, many religious figures in history have been criticized for the fact that uh, they did not say anything about the slavery that was prevalent in their times, sometimes it seems that they, they even condoned the slavery and took it like for granted and, and like this should continue as it is. Uh, but the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, showed uh, many improvements in this area as well. For example, uh, there is a saying in which it is, uh, he, he restricts Muslims from calling persons slaves. Mm. He said you can refer to them by a diminutive such as Ghulam, which means boy or something like this, uh, my boy, my girl, but don't say my slave because we are all slaves of God. Mm. And uh, in another saying, uh, he instructed that uh, what, if you do have a slave, you must feed them with the same sort of food that you eat and clothe them with the same sort of clothing that you wear. So in this way, the hierarchy is broken down. Now, he established a public uh, means of worship uh, and uh, the, the, the ways of worshiping God. In the prayer, for example, people come and they line up side by side. Anyone can stand beside someone else in the same rank. Mm -hmm. So the slave and the master could be standing side by side in the same rank. And so the, 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 the hierarchy is leveled. Mm -hmm. In the pilgrimage, uh, all men are required to wear just two simple unstitched uh, pieces of clothing. And so everyone would appear the same way, whether slave or, or free. Uh, and, and he instituted many ways of uh, respecting the, the rights of individuals, even those who were slaves at the time, and showed many different ways and appealed to the people to free their slaves, so that gradually, if people had uh, followed his uh, directives, they would have freed the slaves, and the abolition, uh, abolition of slavery would have actually emerged uh, from Muslim lands. Unfortunately, it didn't happen this way, uh, and, uh, and others beat Muslims uh, to this, uh, but nevertheless, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, uh, laid the foundations and showed the way 
uh, which sometimes uh, we Muslims fail to follow. Mm -hmm. Now we're running out of time, but can you speak briefly on uh, how we can follow the Prophet Muhammad's example? We're required to, to, to follow his example, but how do we do that today? Well, today many Muslims think of following the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as uh, implying following him in minute things. And uh, in fact, uh, to follow him even in minute things where these are um, not uh, out of place in our present society, that too is virtuous for a Muslim because a Muslim loves the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and wants to be like him. Some people copy uh, movie stars and, and uh, Hollywood actors. Uh, they want to be like them, dress like them, wear the same shoes, use even the same toothpaste, uh, or, and keep their hair combed the same way and so on. Uh, for Muslims, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is our hero. We love him, we want to protect his honor and his dignity, and uh, we want to follow him even in minute things. And uh, where these uh, are not out of place in our current society, um, th this would even be uh, virtuous and, 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 and a religious thing to do. At the same time, it is more important to follow Mah the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in the major precepts and concepts. Uh, his standing for justice, for the equality of women, for the equality of the human race, for the rights of non-Muslim minorities, living in Muslim lands, for the rights of animals, for, uh, for protection of the environment. All of these are, are things for which the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, were known, or was, was known and for, for which Muslims should be known uh, to this day. If you want to be true followers of the Prophet, rep, 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 <laughs> replicate. Uh, replicate his actions. And if you want to represent his teachings correctly, then we have to follow him in these big things and, uh, and show that this is what, if we want to defend his honor, this is the way to do it, by standing uh, up for justice. All right, very well put. We're running out of time. I wish we could speak more on the Prophet Muhammad, but thank you for that. You're welcome. So we'll take a break. When we return, we answer questions we've received from you, our viewers.